Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael Lent. We are yet again continuing our adventures as the Luzian Star Empire. So, um, let's start the game. The fastest, alright. Oh my god, what is going on over here? Oh my god, for a second we are losing like a hundred ener energy credits a month. Jesus Christ, okay, whatever. It's better now. Mm, okay, we have some reinforcements. Uh, yes, we, we are currently reinforcing the third fleet, which is going to patrol our uh, territory in case uh, the Great Khan appears and we have to send our these two fleets you know, away. Mm, okay, our genetic points. I mean, trade points, yes. Okay, we are currently voting to enact the Radiant Shield. Alright. Okay, we can choose a tradition. Fantastic. So now we can we can choose the, the grand forgeries. Our blast furnaces are larger than any other in the galaxy. They are able to refine immense quality quantities of metal ore and produce good high quality metal. And we gain access to the blast furnace building which increases metallurgist output uh, by one and their energy consumption by two. Okay. This could be kind of helpful, not gonna lie. Alright, anyways, um, okay, we need some housing over here, so let's build the, let's build the luxury residences. Alright, and we have unlocked advanced shield, shield uh, capacitors. Mm, okay, uh, let's, let's unlock the substellar compressor. A mega structure built around a brown dwarf capable of triggering fusion reactors within the brown dwarf to ignite it. Upgraded. Okay, and this should also increase our energy credits uh, product output from jobs. So yeah, this this should be uh, kind of useful. Yeah, we are kind of we are struggling currently with our energy production. Yes. Mm, okay, we have researched um, superfluid materials. Mm, oh, what is that? What's that? Advanced materials lab laboratory. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's unlock this technology. It seems that. Uh, wait. Researched. Uh, it, is, it seems that every time we research like the third tier of these technologies which increase our research from researchers by, uh, you know, the 20%, we get like a special building of some kind, like we already have the, already have the Technology Institute, the Cultural Nexus, yeah, that's kind of cool, not gonna lie, yeah, we're, I think we're also going to build it on this planet, yeah. Alright, um, you know what, let's have a look at our factions. Um, okay, so which faction is currently in charge right now? Okay, the Council for the Advancement of Science. Okay, um, let's see, the. let's have a look at our ethics attraction. Okay, so I think we used to uh, use the competitive ethics attraction used to be a lot higher i'm not gonna lie but there is a oh look at that 21 percent of our pops currently embrace the liber libertarian ethic oh huh, interesting okay all right i wonder if there's going to be libertarian fa uh, faction popping up soon yeah that could be interesting, not gonna lie. Oh my god, what? Oh no. Oh my god. We are losing even more energy credits now, that's so... I don't know if I can fix this, actually. <laughs> oh my god, that's so bad. Um, and, let's see. Let's have a look at our uh, special projects. Let's maybe research this special project over here, uh, the prop about the properties of uh, dark matter. Yeah, are we? Okay, you know what, let's do that. Yeah, research. Uh, what what do you want? Um, custodian protocol 625 activated. 
Message follows. Attention, organic civilization widespread biological vulnerabilities have been detected in the Olizarian population. In order to ensure your species viability for the custodian project, all major population centers will require in inoculation. Bioinjection units are prepared for dispatchal to your space upon positive confirmation of this message awaiting response. What? What do you want? Get out! We don't want your stupid injections. Keep your filthy xenofluids to yourselves. We don't care. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> Should I get like a separate uh, generated world to fix this mess over here? Or maybe you know what, I have an idea, but this can be kind of risky. Um, let's see. We already have a lot of generator districts over here, so maybe I should change the designation of this colony to a generator world. Yeah, this should uh, this should increase the technician output on this planet. Um, okay, let's see what happens. Maybe this will actually change something. Who knows? All right. Yeah, we started to lose uh, consumer goods now, but yeah, whatever, we can always buy some. Okay, so you know what, to fix this issue, let's let's build more industrial districts on Hefnir 4, our factory world. Okay, Technology one, two, secured. and three. Alright. And we increased our naval capacity, so I mean, all right. Let's maybe go for interstellar ca campaigns, I guess. Okay, I mean, our energy production has gone up a little bit, but it's still, but it's still, uh, yeah, it's still not that good. All right. Okay, let's also build more generator districts over here. The, enig the enigmatic uh, cash de departs. Um, all right. Okay, I've made some additional uh, platforms to the uh, hack. I don't know how to pronounce this uh, station. Yes. Um, okay, so yeah, I think we should be ready for the Great Khan or any mid-game crisis whatsoever. Yes. I'm not gonna lie, our economy is really struggling right now, but I think we will get out of it soon. Yeah, okay, so our energy production has gone up a bit, that's, that's a good sign. Okay. I've already, I'm already building some additional generator districts, so maybe uh, we should uh, fix this issue. I would really like a Dyson Sphere right now. I would love to build one, you have no idea. Um, hieroglyphics, minor artifacts discovered, a section of floor at the ruins being excavated in Fahios 5A recently gave way, sending several of our archaeologists stumbling down a small chasm. chasm. Fortunately, they know not only emerged unharmed from the incident, but they also found several minor artifacts. Oh, nice. That's really, that's great. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we are still uh, investigating, we are still excavating this site about the Astenine people. It looks like we're doing really badly right now. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, you know what? But actually, we can build a panel sphere. Can generate energy credits or become a bomb. Oh. Yeah. Look at this. If we if we if we actually uh, finish uh, building this mega structure, we get uh, if we stabilize the panel sphere, we. We will get six six hundred energy credits. Oh, okay. I think we are. Maybe we should actually do this. Um, 
Okay, but we are still um, we are still upgrading this mega structure over here, and I just realized that this was kind of a mistake because uh, once this thing is upgraded, it, its upkeep will increase, and this will negatively impact our energy production, which is already in the negatives. In the negatives, yes. But yeah, I think building a perineal sphere might be might be a good uh, solution to uh, fix our current problem with with the economy. Yeah. Technology secured. Okay, we have unlocked this building over here. Um, so um, let's maybe uh, unlock the next stage of the foundation building. Yeah, the massive production unit. I think this building also produces a lot of energy credits if I'm if I'm not mistaken uh, hold on yeah it's it gives the power engineer jo job which produces 31 energy credits so yeah this this could be uh, really useful okay the collective self um okay let's go for refit standard uh, it will decrease the upgrade cost and ship upkeep of our ships yeah obviously Okay, let's see what, what's going on with this project. It will finish in 17 months. Nice. Technology secured. Okay, there we go. Uh, refit standards. Oh, look at that! We can unlock the mega shipyard. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. I mean, I wish we could actually we could build this mega structure and unlock the Galactic Wonders Ascension perk, which will then give us access to the Dyson Sphere. But I don't think we'll be able to support this mega structure. However, I mean, its upkeep is it's not that bad. I think only forty energy credits. Yeah, so maybe we're. I mean, it's kind of worth it because. After we build the mega shipyard, we can research the Dyson Sphere, which will ultimately like fix uh, this mess. Yeah, but we'll, we will see about that, I guess. And you know what? Let's maybe turn this world into... Uh, not into a refinery world, but... But uh, into a ru ru ruler world? Yes, I hope I pronounced it correctly because it will uh, increase the resource production from all of the workers on this plant, which also includes uh, the technicians. Okay, maybe our you know our food production will suffer a little bit, but it sh we should be fine. Okay, you can always buy more food, and it's not really that expensive, I think. Yeah. Wait, what? So, so the weapon. Uh, so our ion cannons, they are equipped with asteroid throwers? Wait, are you serious right now? So we are just literally throwing rocks at our enemies. Really? We don't have any, any better weapons than this? <laughs> That's so pathetic. Okay, an envoy has died. Like, just imagine you're entering a, a system and then suddenly like, like an ion cannon starts throwing just rocks at you. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess that's Stellaris. There's nothing I can do. I'm still wondering to like, where is the Khan? Where is like the mid-game crisis? I it's been already, it's already been thirty-three years, uh, and and he's still not here. Like, I specifically dedicated like three, four, I don't know, episodes to prepare for this thing, and it's still not here. Like, come on. What's going on? Okay, we have fi we are finally gaining some energy credits. That's fantastic. It's wonderful. Oh, I'm so relieved relieved right now. You know, what, maybe we should. I mean, since uh, the mid game crisis is still not happening, maybe we should declare war on someone. Like I'm kind of getting bored. Yeah, I still want to like uh, get get uh, their territory because they have the L gate. Yeah, maybe you should like declare a war or something. I don't know, just for fun. Why not? Let's fulfill our like um, authoritarian ambitions or something. I don't know if that made sense, but whatever. Um, and we are 
still losing and we and we again started to lose energy credits maybe i why am i caring so why do i care so much about this i mean come on it's just some credits we already have like 38,000 of them so it's not really that big of a deal and there we go we have built the macro engineering testing station yay finally it's a second mega structure and we got it's a second mega structure in our empire and we got an achievement firing range fantastic yeah and we should now get more um engineering research yes i thought it had a different model not gonna lie but okay whatever i guess um yeah so now we have the, the orbital artificial ecosystem and the macro engineering testing station above this asteroid over here yeah fantastic okay so you know what um let's build this penerosphere why not um it it requires a black hole though and we only have this um wait this one black hole over here or maybe we can actually build it in this system yeah i don't know if it can though i think it's a yeah, it's a micro quasar um hold on let's see can we do that oh we actually can Ooh, that's really nice um but you know what let's do that over here actually yeah it's uh, this system is uh, closer to us yeah um all right penrosphere and there we go and there we go, we can finally finish the industry tradition tree. Oh, this, this should actually be useful, it reduces all of the, you know, the upkeep for chemists, translucers and gas refiners by 50%. Yeah, I think our mineral production should really increase right now. Yeah, we are wasting a lot of uh, minerals from jobs, so... Alright, there we go, and we get an ascension perk. Should we choose something right now or should we like wait? You know what, maybe let's choose master builders. We are already starting to build more mega structures and we can now build two at the same time if we choose this ascension perk, obvious, uh, obviously, yes. Complete. Um, hold on. Properties research, research completed it in, in its harvested form. Dark matter is a substance that emits no light disturbs magnetic fields and exert uh, gravitational pull or surrounding objects which as our scientists noted is completely useless in energy in energy generation but as the study went on throughout uh, through a combination of trial and error uh, one scientist discovered that dark matter can in fact be activated with the use of agent particles making them far easier to work with however the active dark matter is short-lived in our environment and our scientists would like more funding to to continue their research of course we're going to give you funding yeah why not let's waste more energy credits okay let's uh, going back let's go back to the ascension perks hold on let's see yeah let's maybe choose the let's go for the master build, builders are set ascension perk yeah why not yeah and by the way the the Penrosphere has like a slight uh, alloy upkeep, we need to, it needs 25 alloys to function, but yeah, it's not that much, and we can always increase our alloy production, and yeah, I was right, we now produce uh, 300 minerals, that's really nice, yes, and we can upgrade our planetary capital over here, that's really nice, and I think we can upgrade after we do that, we can upgrade the nano plants to alloy synth batteries. Um, hieroglyphics, uh, hieroglyphics 4. Shortly after landing back on the surface of Fahios 5A, the science team set about testing the atmosphere around the glyphs in the hope of revealing some kind of answer when their sensors detect a ma major se seismic activity for a brief moment. And all of the glyphs, glyphs st stop glowing at once. Uh, okay, as soon as they left the atmosphere of Fahios Fave, the ship's sensor de detected a giant bolt of orange light traveling far beyond any speed we have been able to achieve. The light soon left visible range. 
All right, and we have finished this archaeological site. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, what is that? A new system of some kind. Oh, and it's also a black hole. Okay, let's get this. Let's quickly grab this system before the directory does. Yeah, let's survey it. Um, we need a construction ship. You know what, let, let's build one, why not? Okay. Okay, you know what, um, let's build a city district over, over here, or actually maybe two, why not? Um, and let, and I want to build this uh, advanced uh, this building uh, that we just uh, acquired, the Advanced Materials Laboratory. Not gonna lie, I'll, I really like this planet. Yeah, like this kind of our like uh, silicon volley when we like have this uh, buildings that dedicated to technology and stuff, you know, like research. Yeah, I really want to turn this planet into a tech world of some kind in the future. Yeah. And there we go, we have unlocked the mega shipyard. Uh, that's really really nice. That's really nice. Um, let's maybe let's go for I don't know the command center. Okay, so let's see. Oh wow, this this is a really expensive upgrade. Okay, so we receive four power engineer jobs and four geophysicist job jobs. Oh, that's really nice. Um, yeah, this is really expensive. You know what? Let's wait. Uh, let's let's wait for some time until we gather some more energy and uh, energy crates and minerals. Yeah. What is that? Unlock advanced heavy weapon systems. Unlocks development of advanced spinal mounted weapons. Ooh, this could be interesting. Some more. We get. We can now uh, develop more advanced weapons. Yeah. Okay, um, geo scanners. Mm. Oh, we can unlock the asteroid manufacturing. It's a great mega structure. We can build it around asteroids and it will produce like 200 consumer goods. Yeah, it's really nice. I think that we could build, um, that maybe in the future we could build a lot of, a bunch of these mega structures over here. Look at that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six asteroids in this system. So if you multiply it, uh, if you multiply it 200 by six, you get like uh, 20, uh, 1200, uh, con 1200 consumer goods. Yeah, that's really a lot. I hope I did the math, the math correctly. Yeah, <laughs> okay, whatever. And we have unlocked the substellar compressor. Um, let's maybe go for, let's unlock the mode, the sublimator. Oh, and we also have some, we have some, we have even more asteroids over Special here. Project complete. Look at that, one, two, three, and four. All right. A dead end. Having arrived in the system what looks to be weeks after the orange ball did, it's nowhere to be seen. Despite the years of time spent on this anomaly, there has been no real insight into what the glyphs were made for, who made them, why they made, made them, or what the orange bolt was. However, after some investigation into, into the random debris that scattered around the system of seemingly no apparent reason, it appears there once used to be some kind of gigantic megastructure here. Oh, that's interesting. Probably destroyed over time by the black hole, our scientists request we, that we salvage what we could, perhaps all is not lost. Okay, we gained some unity and a lot of research and a research option apps for abstract for abstract physics theory. That's really nice. So apparently there used to be a mega structure over here. All right, that's interesting. Okay, so now we have a free building slot on Indana One. So let's build the advanced materials laboratory. Yes. All right, there we go. And we have built the my, the research stations, and now we're making eleven. Uh, uh, un, 
we're gaining uh, 11 uh, units of dark matter per month and we're also producing 7 dark energy uh, units. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, so now the third fit is fully reinforced. Uh, should we or not? No, let's save up. Al let's save up some alloys for the um, for the Penrose sphere. Yes, I think it's a. Yeah, we need to build it to fix this mess. Um, okay. Should we also uh, let's should we also uh, in the meantime build the mega shipyard? Mm, yeah, let's do it. Why not? Let's build it on... Or you know what, let's maybe build it in the Fahio system. I really like this idea because you already have like a uh, fortress world, which it's kind of feels like... It, it's kind of like a military base, maybe, yeah. So having like a uh, building, me I mean, mega structure dedicated to like uh, fleets and stuff, you know, like the military, it's a... It, it it just fits, yeah. Okay, and our scientists have leveled up. That's really nice. Um, okay, and we have unlocked the asteroid uh, manufact as the asteroid manufactory. Fantastic. So um, let's maybe now choose. Let's go for high temperature superconductors. Yeah, let's increase our engineering research even further. Or you know what? Uh, this will take 19 months, so after we research this technology, we're going to investigate this special project, reactor design. Yeah. Oh no, it looks like our overseer, Karba, has, has just passed away. Rest in peace. We have a new election. Um, all right, let's abstain. And Katrila is is now our new overseer. Yeah, we have elected Katrila, previously scientist and ISS Bemalon, the distrustful. Um. Okay, let's see. Science. Okay, it's this ship over here. No, no, no. Okay, it's you. Um, let's maybe... Okay, let's assign you to this... To this science ship, yeah. And you will continue to excavate this site over here. Maybe you will... You're going to actually make some progress. Yeah. Unlike your predecessors. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, we can also restore this wrecked titan over here. Yeah, it only costs us uh, 1,500 alloys. Yeah, so let's also do that. And I think I'm going to integrate you into maybe the first fleet. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I'm actually cu curious, uh, did any of these empires gain any like uh, Elgate insights? Because no, no one has opened uh, the Elgate yet. Yeah, mm, that's a good question. Um, the Thun Thor awakened psy has have awakened their psionic abilities. All Thun Thor throughout the galaxy have undergone a great change. Whereas before they, their latent psionic power had only blossomed in a small minority, the entire species has now unlocked its full ps psychic potential. Although these changes seem to have originate, originated in the Star Cooperative of Zazak, they have now manifested in all members of their species regardless of where they reside. Aside from displaying an array of powerful psionic abilities, Dun Thor have started to forge to forego verbal communication with each other in favor of telepathy. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, so these guys over here, they are now psychics of some kind. Oh, and by the way, I think they have this uh, system, the broken clock. Yeah, and, actually, and I think, yeah, I found this... Uh, I've got this system a couple of times uh, before in some of my previous playthroughs. Um, we can now develop advanced spinal mounted weapons, whatever that means. Ooh, look at that! Psionic weapons! Yes, look at that! We can unlock psionic avatars. 
Oh, this is really interesting. Let's unlock this technology. Yeah, and I think there is a slight chance that in the end game, a like a um um a, a an empire has a chance to spawn over here, and it's going to like, conquer all of the. It's going to like expand from this system. Yeah, I think it's also like one of these like genocidal empires, like the Deathbringers. Yeah, but of but after some time they actually disappear. So yeah, it's like a temporal anomaly of some kind. Yeah, but not gonna lie, I'm really excited that we start to unlock more, even more interesting technologies. Like now, uh, we'll be able to unlock psi psionic weapons. That's really cool. Yeah, and we also can also exploit a new resource, psionic charges. Yeah, look at that. It's over here. I really, I really like this mod. The uh, extra uh, ship components. It really gives. Uh, it's it not only like uh, gives additional tiers to existing technologies, but but also introduces new ones, and I think that's really cool. And look at that, all of our fleets have now approximately like uh, 50k fleet power, so together they have like 150,000 uh, uh, military power, that's really cool. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this flat world over here, Hanakono 1, which is currently our first world, could, I imagine that this could be like a really nice tourist attraction, like a flat world, it's it's not really something that you uh, see very often, uh, like in space. So like I imagine like a lot of people would uh, try to go to the edge of this world and see what's below it. Yeah, that's also like a, um, a cool, yeah that's also a really interesting. And we have unlocked the mode, the sublimators. Um, oh, look at that. We can also unlock the science nexus. Um, okay, we, we can also choose plasma cannons or advanced combat lasers. But you know what? No, let's unlock the science nexus first. And you know what? Let's maybe get some more alloys. Yeah, let's again go to this fallen empire over here. These like weird blob shaped aliens are kind of like our alloy dealers. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, let's confirm. Okay, so I I unlocked some uh, generator districts on this planet over here. So yeah, I think this planet was originally supposed to be like a, a mining world. Yeah, but we also have some a lot of generator districts over here. So let's build like three of them. I already. I also built the energy grid, so yeah, let's and we can upgrade it to the energy nexus. Okay, and there we go. We are about to build the Penrose Sphere construction site. The construction site for a future Penrose field has been finished near Yuga as well as Black Hole. Upon this scaffold, we shall completely envelop a black hole with a hyper reflective mirror in order to exploit the gargantuan energies of the black hole's rotation. Fantastic. Okay, um yeah we are yeah we can upgrade this mega structure right now because we are restoring the the Titan of in this system, yeah. Okay, but we but we need to wait like twenty days approximately, so it's fine. And there we go, we have restored the great Titan. Okay, so I guess I will send you over here. Yeah. All right. So now we can go and start building the Pendrel Sphere Frame. All right. There we go. I think it. This mega. Um, now that I actually select this hologram over here, I think the Pendrel Sphere is going to look uh, really similar to the to the to the regular Dyson spheres. Yeah, so it's not really anything special. Wait, what? Chameleon field exposed! A chameleon energy field of some sort constraining a nation structure was recently exposed on the surface of Vroon C4. A lifeless planet inside our space, only a chance. Asteroid impact which was deflected off the field while the planet 
was being monitored by passing fate revealed its existence. Create ancient tomb. Oh, what? Oh, wait, let's have a look. Okay. We have an archaeological site. Uh, with the field deactivated, archaeologists will now have access to the large and forbidding building complex that was hidden beneath it. Okay, is there a science ship nearby? Okay, you're busy. Uh, no. You're not currently doing anything. Okay, but it's going to take it's going to take a while for you to get over here, so uh, the so Alemani is going to excavate this site right now. Yeah. I was not expecting this, not gonna lie. And we can choose a yet another tradition. So I think I want to choose a tradition that's going to come on let, let me pause this that's going to help our economy out a little bit so maybe commerce or I was thinking about choosing the commerce tradition or maybe prosperity where is prosperity um hello okay there we go Let's see it. This the prosperity tradition increases our mining station output, building up decreases the and district upkeep and building upkeep. Okay, um, it increases this. Now let's have a look at the commerce tradition. Okay, it increases uh, our energy output. However, it only does it while our energy credit gain is positive. Okay get some additional cleric jobs oh this is actually really great uh, this is really great we can unlock free planetary des decisions which uh, will increase uh, uh, the planet uh, en energy credit food or mineral output oh yeah i think i'm going to choose com the commerce tradition yeah it may not really like fit our empire that much but it's going to really save us uh, during this period when we are struggling with our economy yeah okay you know what i think i have an idea i forgot i completely forgot about edicts yeah we can use the um the capacity subsides um edict to kind of fix our problem i don't know if it, this is going to actually solve anything but it's still you can still try this. Yeah, we have enough influence anyways. So yeah, let's see if this actually does anything. Um, yeah, o okay. <laughs> so now we are losing 200 energy credits. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's impossible. Yeah, what the hell. Oh, and there we go. It actually did do something useful. Yeah, we are now gaining free energy credits a month. And we have increased our engineering research. Do we get a building of some kind? No, we don't. All right, let's see. Mm, let's maybe increase our mining station output. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, I forgot I was supposed to start uh, researching this special project. Yeah, um, the reactor design. So let's do that right now. Um, oh, and by the way, we still have this project to uh, locate galactic core hyperlanes. So let's do it as well. It, we, it only needs like seven months to be completely uh, researched. Secure. Okay, psionic weapons. Great. Um, oh, look at that. We can also un unlock the mega art installation. Okay, there we go. By the way, we still have this weird modifier, the powering memetic overload. I mean, we got it because of this event with the memetic creature, the elusive Carcosa, but why is it still here? I think I already researched this special project. Yeah, it decreases our monthly energy credits production by 40, and I, that's kind of a lot. And yeah, is there a way to uh, somehow to get rid of this modifier? I don't know. Wait, is, do we have like any remaining? 
special projects related to this. Okay, you have the crystal pyramid. Okay, no. Massive production unit completed. Ma uh, is a complex facility specialized energy generator areas provide the power necessary to operate the facility. Uh, blah blah. And we can focus uh, the generator stations on providing power, just the facility and expand. Let's focus on energy cores, that's what we need. We, are, we already produce a lot of minerals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and there we go, we have the massive production unit. Okay, we got four power engineers and four geophysicists. Yeah. And there we go, we now gain 70 energy credits. Special project Great. complete. And look at that, we have located the galactic core hyperlanes, amazing. And yeah, I was right, there is a supermassive black hole in the center. And looks like the, I think the Union is already taking this system, these systems, yeah. And finally, you have formed the Galactic Council. Fantastic, okay. I think there's, there should be an election coming soon. Yeah, there it is. And we should be, of, we're going to be the member of the Galactic Council because we are the strongest empire in the galaxy. And the remaining seats will be taken by the Shazarak Link and the Lyamoid Junction. Yeah, these guys over here. Okay, um, we are we are also upgrading the um, defense platforms in in Tinesia. Okay, so we have already reached the year twenty twenty three forty, and I think it's it's uh, finally time to end this episode. So, I mean, we haven't really done that much. We started to build two mega structures. Uh, we tried to fix our energy production. I think we kind of succeeded, but we will see again in the next episode. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see more of this series, you can um, click the playlist on the end screen or use the link in the description down below. And if you enjoyed watching me struggle with energy credits, <laughs> you can uh, hit, hit the like button uh, and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, if you want to see uh, what happens next, I will see you in the next episode. So yeah, have a nice day, goodbye.